on February the 9th, three weeks after mass protest in support of environmental activist Fahil al Sinov in the village of Buran Baiva in Bashkartostan, security forces detained the father of four children, Valya Mutalapov. On February the 6th, the police came to the home of eco activist Yulaya Yupov. The investigation has already charged him under the article on participation in mass riots due to a public gathering in Baymark. There was a trial yesterday. My husband was detained until April 6. I try to do everything I can. We are feeling an appeal, but I have absolutely no idea what will happen next. Despite all my efforts, I need your support. On January the 25th, 2024, a case for allegedly organizing a public event was opened against activist Ildar Yumagulov. Then he was forced to leave the borders of Bashkartostan. But on February the 5th, the Baymak District Court dismissed the administrative case. However, the day before, the activist house was searched and his wife was taken away in an unknown direction. A few days later, security forces took his son away. <laughs> When they try to achieve something through your family, through your loved ones, this is very bad. And even dishonest. I don't know. There's an Article 51. Even if my relatives knew something, it is unlikely that anyone would tell you anything. Even my distant relatives wouldn't tell where and how am I. Protests in Bashkartostan began after a court sentenced environmental activist Fahil al Sinov to four years in prison for allegedly inciting ethnic hatred. The head of Bashkartostan, Radi Khabirov, wrote a complaint against al Sinov. According to OVD Info, almost 50 people are being prosecuted under traditional Russian political charges, mass riots, and the usage of violence against a government official. Some were charged with several articles at once. 34 people were sent to the pre trial detention center. At least one detention knee was severely beaten. Another one, Rifat Daoutov, died after being detained. The only thing I want to know is the cause of my brother's death. I don't encourage anyone to riot. I do not encourage anyone to rebel. The investigative committee of the Russian Federation received 2,800 requests demanding that it conducts a full and comprehensive pre-investigation check into the death of Rifat Daoutov over the info reports. Meanwhile, the police are looking for protesters, but people create mutual aid groups and warn neighbors about raids by the Special Purposes Mobile Unit in villages. Reported by Diana Kolesnik, Natalia Husak, UATV News.